So this eBay store has sold more than half a million dollars of custom grips. This eBay store has made more than a million in custom grips. Now, what does this have to do with 3D printing? Well, we're gonna get to that in just a minute, but let's go ahead and look at these real quick. Number one, all of these grips are generally either machined, which requires a bit of etching, or they're just vinyl made. And it's kind of hilarious that they're vinyl made because the vast majority of them are actually made overseas and then imported to be sold on eBay. But the ones that are machined are actually taken advantage of CNC machining. CNC machining allows for a lot of customization and a lot of variation creation. And the grips themselves allow you to jig up and tool up so that it's really easy to set in a new set of grips, machine in that specific design, and then move on with life. So these stores really thrive on really high variability and a lot of variation in the designs. Because within the gun world, there's actually a lot of demand for customizing your kit. Now, as I said, all of these are being done through vinyl or traditional metal etching and that kind of thing. And that's all good, but it does limit you in many sorts of ways because you can't use things like carbon fiber and you're kind of restricted on some things like color and overall texture and depth. So this is where 3D printing comes in. Right now, all of these stores make money by basically reselling existing grips or machining new ones. So they need high variation, but it is expensive to machine compared to things like 3D printing. 3D printing offers a bunch of new advantages because you can still create tons and tons of variations to address all of the demands that people would have and put out all of the experiments that you wanna try. Do people like this design more or do they like the gold design more? And then once you know they like gold, are there different designs of the gold that you wanna do? And then once you have that design, do you wanna start varying into new colors again? 3D printing enables all of that iteration and all of that trying. And then if something really kicks off and goes to scale like these guys, they they are able to mass produce them through a print farm like ours really easily and very reliably. It allows you to outsource production of these types of parts, be working in polymers and cool materials like carbon fiber that you traditionally wouldn't really mess with very often, especially in machining and certainly not in vinyl stuff. It lets you reshore these types of parts and pieces in a way that was never possible before, while still maintaining all of the variation and all of the selection that is necessary for that customer group. These pistol groups are a fantastic example of where 3D printing can add value to an existing industry because it can produce these parts parts reliably, it can create a whole new genre of these parts, and it's able to do it at margins that are really quite profitable, so that you can be competitive in what is becoming in an increasingly crowded space. Pistol grips and all sorts of other accessories benefit hugely from 3D printing because it allows you to adjust to all the different variations that exist out there while still making a good quality product and creating all kinds of new capabilities that were never really there before. Have a great day, everybody.